Alright, we're well, live back on set here. Good morning again. And now it's time for Business Bites on Now. I'm going to be speaking with two individuals from um, a company that actually gained um, a foreign mortgage company uh, work. And now joining me this morning is Richard Young, who is the chairman of TNT IFC. I'm going to find out what that is. And I'm also going to be chatting with Rachel Mason, who is the VP of Operations of Evolve Mortgage Services. Good morning and welcome. Hi, good morning. Thank you for joining us this morning. Now, um, Richard, first off, t tell us, what is TNT IFC and what do they do? Good morning again to everyone, um, especially to Natalie. Good well, never morning. <laughs> Um, TTIFC stands for Trinidad Tobago International Financial Center. Wonderful. Our fundamental mandate is to try to develop the financial services sector because by that it would involve investment, foreign investment, and by extension provide jobs and right. then earn foreign exchange. We which are located is, in the waterfront in Tower D on right. the 15th floor. Which is so needed uh, for an exchange, uh, which seems to be the ongoing problem uh, accessing it for many businesses here in Trinidad and Tobago. And Rachel, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, Evolve Mortgage Services and uh, what are some of the things that you do? So hi, good morning everyone. So Evolve Mortgage Services, we are essentially a technology provider to the financial services industry. Right. We focus on residential mortgages. We are a US based company and we have been in this business for a little over 25 years. Right. And we also do outsourcing. So that is our core business there. All right, wonderful. Now, um, let me go to you, Richard. Tell uh, One of uh, the TNT IFC's role is to attract high-value investors like Evolve. What was done differently this time around? We have a, a process, and it really comes on at the end of the day to relationships and how the potential investor sees the country. Um, we had a good fortune back in 2018 to, to meet Paul Alselmo, convince him that he should visit Trinidad. Um, and at the same time, it was just pre-carnival. Right. And he came with his dear wife, Lori, and it just, it was magic. I mean, he just fell in love with the country. He loved the people. He liked the culture. He comes from just outside Dallas. He's an American. Um, but more importantly, I think he he had a shop, if I could speak it like that, in India, doing the same sort of processing and, and, and stuff like that. And he felt that India was far, different time zone to him. Language was a little bit of a barrier. Right. And I think as he toured and he met different people, the various ministers, he was impressed of the level of education. And then, of course, when not, not of the ministers, I'm referring to the people. <laughs> and then he... Um, we arranged to have some interviews with some professionals, and it just blew him. He couldn't believe that these people are so articulate, so highly qualified. So, you know, the point that TTIFC constantly makes, and I saw Lara talking about services earlier, we have talented people. What we have to do is to sort of create an environment, marshal them together, and, and get them employed in by foreign investors, so to speak. And, and that is exactly what we have done with Evolve. That is part of the TTA IF, IFC's mandate. Now, when you have uh, locals employed with foreign investors, um, how does it benefit the country on a whole? Well, what happens, first of all, is that we have a tremendous amount of graduates. We focus on financial services. At one time, we had the whole highest per capita income of accounting students. And more recently, Rachel will explain, we've gone into a little bit of diversification, so to speak, and in right. IT. You know, and we have, we produce about 300 IT graduates of all different types every year. So, so you know, in terms of if these people get employed to start with, they have a job. They've studied so hard to get qualified and now they're gainfully employed and they could really maximize the potential. Secondly, if you are doing like the model that Rachel will explain, they earn, the country earns for an exchange because the operators have to pay the expenses by injecting US dollars because they in turn will build customers in US dollars. Their customers are not based in Trinidad. I mean, they have a little medium term vision to do some stuff here in Trinidad, but that's something that we're working with them on. Wonderful. And Rachel, 
uh, let's speak a little more about Evolve. Uh, how many locals do you currently have um, <coughs> employed there and uh, earning foreign exchange well for themselves, for their families, and, and on a wider scale for the country? Okay, so we have 55 persons employed with Evolve in, in different capacities. We have senior developers, business analysts, compliance auditors. So the model is, first of all, Evolve is a virtual company. The great thing is we have been virtual even before COVID. COVID didn't push us into it. We were really, you know, pioneers in that and we right. always had that model. And our, our employees are not paid in US as, as many people think, but we do inject a lot of foreign exchange because what would happen for us, Evolve, we use a lot of the resources in Trinidad. So our employment agency, the person who does our payrolls and so they look, a local company does all that. Right. And we send foreign exchange every bi-weekly, we're paid bi-weekly, we would inject that foreign exchange so that we can pay our locals. So on a consistent basis, foreign exchange is, you know, injected into the economy through Evolve because of, of the operation we have here. And let's speak a little bit more of the partnership between uh, TT, IFC and Evolve. Um, Richard, tell us what are some of the benefits that both bodies gain from this partnership? Okay, well, so I, I think, yeah, sorry, go ahead, you go ahead, Rachel. You better yeah. speak on it. So as my CEO, Paul Anselmo, would say, let me just add that it, it's not just a partnership anymore. It's now become a friendship <laughs> because TGIFC has really played a pivotal role in, in ensuring that we are here and that we are comfortable. As Richard would have mentioned from the get go, um, they invited us here and had an amazing agenda where we were able to see the talent. We were able to meet the CEO. He was able to meet with the ministers and able to get a feel for Trinidad and Tobago and realize it was not just a sales pitch. This was real and this was a place that we wanted to be. So it, it really is a partnership, even where our offices are located. TGIFC, they have um, been very accommodating. They have provided us with incubation space. Our offices are located there. So although our model is work from home, right. we still have a place that we can come to. Um, they've continued to extend our stay there, so we continue to be there. Yes, we have to go out and find our own place. But TGIFC has really been a great, great partner in this and ensuring that our business runs smoothly and that we could focus on our core business while they help us to do a lot of the other things that we have to do. And you know, that, that's a great friend indeed. Um, so, okay, walk me through the process. I am a local looking for employment within uh, you know, one of these services that you provide. What's my next step? So what we do, we advertise our jobs. So we have different means. TGIC has been great with that also. Advertising our jobs on social media, we advertise it on some job, bo job boards. So you would see a job come up for perhaps a systems engineer or a senior developer. It really is as simple as applying for the job. And then we do an interview process that is virtual. So, you know, uh, last year during COVID, people were like a virtual interview. This is my first virtual interview, but this is definitely the norm now. Right. So we would do a virtual interview and it would involve myself and somebody in our um, US location, the, the person who's in charge of that specific department. And really, once you are successful at that interview, you go through a background check and so. And once you go to the background check and that background check comes up, okay, we make the decision, yes, we are going to hire or we are not going to hire you. Wonderful. And Richard, uh, say for instance, I own a company that I think may benefit from your services. How does one do so? Pardon, can you repeat that question? R Richard, to, my question is to Richard. I'm asking... Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, had, I, had I been a company that uh, was interested in your services, how do I uh, benefit from your services? Okay, Carrie, just, just to, to go back, Evolve's clientele are based in the U.S. Right. They process mortgages fundamentally. So it's really the U.S. Um, market that they focus on. Right. As far as Trinidad is concerned, right now, the model is basically to employ our talent to provide that service onshore in Trinidad, but the end recipient is offshore. Right. So it's what, as Rachel referred to as sort of outsourcing. Right. However, through the relationship we have established, Evolve is really, in a sense, what we call a fintech firm, financial services, financial technology. Yeah. They are in the financial services sector. They use a lot of technology. 
and our eyes are being opened. We are seeing where there's a possibility of that being adopted and applied here in Trinidad. So we have facilitated, again, having meetings with the TTMFs, the HMBs. Um, the banks tend to have their own system, but we intend to push and try to get the industry moving. You know, simple things like electronic signatures, but of course it requires a legislative framework so that you could sign online, you know, and when they do their verification, there's a very robust um, infrastructure to ensure that carry is in fact carry. Right. You know, so, so we have to move towards that. We have TransUnion, which is a credit union. It's all online. It's all captured electronically. Um, and we have to move the, the thinking. We've got to get the private sector to really become more innovative uh, because they are being disrupted by technology. Right. Uh, the, the, the banks are responding, but there are, there are opportunities for a lot of smaller players to do so. And I'm sure that some of the, you know, the experiences that are being gained by Evolve will certainly help towards that. And uh, with that, that is all okay. we have time for this morning. I want to thank you both for being with us um, this morning. But before we go, though, I, I'd like to, to get the contact information of both um, TNT, IFC, as well as Evolve, just in case anybody needed more information. Gary, you, you caught me offside there. I don't know my numbers, but I can <laughs> tell you, do a Google search. Of course. TTIFC, and you'll see it. Sure. Um, if you, and and whilst, whilst, I mean, the truth is that you, you have to leave a voicemail because, right. because of what's happening now. We ourselves are working from home. But whilst Rachel is giving you, means I will find our number for you. Well, you know, we could always do a Google search as well. Yeah, right? okay. All right. All right. So, right. So okay. we have the website there. And Rachel, um, how does one get more information from Evolve if we wanted to contact you? Well, definitely we have our general website. It's really a U.S. website, www.evolvemortgageservices.com. And people can even reach out to me directly for information. You can email me at rachel, R-A-C-H-A-E-L dot Mason at evolvemortgageservices.com. And I would be happy to provide you with more information on our company and what our company does. All right. Well, I want to thank Carrie. you. Both. Yes. If you could bear with me, I, I, since I have your ears and the nation's eyes, let me just say one other thing. The CTIFC recently um, have had its mandate revised. Our line ministry is the Ministry of Finance. Um, the Minister of Finance and his wisdom has felt, and lots of people have been calling on it, e-government and electronic services, etc. So part of our next mandate is to work with the Ministry of Finance and the Ministry of Digital Transformation to move the whole financial transaction into electronic mode. Wow, that is great. So news. we could talk about that later, yeah. Yes, uh, we definitely another... need to have you back yeah. so we could chat about uh, that yeah, and sure. how you're going to sure. meet that mandate. And, and we're going to use Evolve to work with us to get some of that done too. Well, of course. <laughs> All right, well, with that, I want to thank you both so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for your time. And uh, I was chatting this morning with Richard P. Young, who's the chairman of TNT IFC. I was chatting also with Rachel Mason, who is the VP of Operations, Evolve Mortgage Services. You can get more information on their respective websites and you could uh, reach out to them yourself. All right, we're going to take a short break and come back with much more. Stay with us.